are coming up and people are traveling. What what would you recommend people do with their systems uh, to prepare for such a thing? Hire me. No, I'm just joking. Um, I mean, that's a tricky thing. So, so you know, there's tank sitters and babysitters. And, I, you know, I'm not sure what I have to add to that because as a business, like I, I don't have that need or run into that very often. Um, if you do have a big complicated reef tank, you you should have someone, a neighbor, a relative, someone nearby. You should have someone versed in the basics of how your system runs. It may be a couple people because maybe the person is going off, you know, on a holiday as well. Um, uh, here's a good thing. If you're a member, it's a good reason to be a member of a local club because maybe someone in the local club that knows your system, you, you should probably just reach out and, you know, you probably have a Neptune apex or whatever on your tank, but it's, you also need a, you know, someone with access to your house and your underwear drawer and your bank account. <laughs> I'll tell no, you what you, I, go ahead. No, I tell you what I recommend, or I'll tell you what I do. Um, although I haven't been traveling much in the last year and a half, but yeah. um, when I go, or I did. I actually did. I, when we dropped uh, my the beast off at school, I was gone for a week. So, but it's the same thing whether I'm going away for a week or three weeks or you know, well, a weekend's a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to be out of state. So, yeah. If you have a, the first thing is do any maintenance that needs to be done to your tank at least a week, preferably two weeks before you leave. Do not do anything to your system the week before you leave. Mm -mm. Um, don't change any pumps. Don't, don't do anything. M give everything at least a week, probably two weeks to get all, um, you know, if, if you had to change some tubing on a pump to make sure that's not going to come loose. If you need to do a water change, nothing bad happened from the water change. If you needed to change media in your tank, you know, there's no adverse effects. Don't do anything that you, so you don't have at least a week to make sure everything is running smoothly. Don't do anything. So that's a good time to check everything in your system. You know, is your calcium reactor going to run out of CO2? You know, what do you need to do? And then really don't do anything. Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, um, have somebody who knows what they're doing come by at least every three days. Right. So I'm happy to pay someone to do that. But if you can't pay someone, find someone in a reef club. People are really generous with this kind of thing because they know they're going to need it later. Mm -hmm. So even if you've got somebody staying at the house um, who's not a reefer, who's feeding your fish or whatever, have someone who knows what they're doing stop by a few times while you're gone to double check and just give a listen. That also means you need to have that person over to your house a week before to see the system and kind of get an idea. Um, number three, write emergency phone numbers right on the aquarium in a marker or a dry erase. Yeah. Um, so nobody has to look for anything. Write instructions right on your tank as well. Um, whatever you need done, it's right there. Or tape the paper with the instructions onto the tank. Uh, also email that to the whoever is involved so they have an email copy in case it gets wet. Um, do not have anybody clean any algae on your aquarium while you're gone. No magnets. No maintenance, no nothing. All they should do is, is everything running well? Throw in your food, make sure everyone's alive and leave. Unless yes. there's some emergency, don't put anything into the tank besides food. Um, make sure if you have the capacity to have a bunch of extra water around in case something bad does happen while you're gone. Fresh and salt. Fresh and salt. Know what is important in your tank when you get home. You know, what do you have to do? Uh, and uh, the last thing is when you get home, if it's not an emergency, don't do anything to your tank until you've had a good night's sleep. Yeah. Uh, I once came home and saw, this was like 30 years ago, and there was a lot of evaporation in the tank. So I just topped it off with fresh water from the tap because I was jet lagged and out of my mind. Yeah. And- uh, put a lot of chlorine into the tank and, and, and it didn't go very well. Don't, do, don't do that. Uh, there's, unless it's an emergency, go to sleep and deal with it the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Fallen corals as well. Leave them till the next day. 
the last thing you want to do while you're jet lag is feeling around in your tank, knocking more shit over. So don't yeah. do it. Um, yeah. That's about it. If you got an apex, great. That'll give you some peace of mind. If you can set up a webcam, set up two, set up one on your sump and one in your tank. And so you can check on it and have peace of mind. Um, and that will also help you if there's an emergency. Uh, well, I guess the person can FaceTime you. You know, I had a problem while I was in Tonga, like remote Tonga, and I was FaceTiming with somebody uh, figuring out where a leak, a leak was coming from in my tank. That's insane. The world. And the most important, I think this is five or six. Assume my wife told me this once when I was on vacation, I was tweaking over the tank. Like what's going to happen? What if something's bad? And she goes, just assume you're coming home to coral soup. <laughs> just assume it. Assume everything's going to die and enjoy your goddamn vacation. Yeah. Stop yeah, worrying yeah. About your tank. So enjoy your vacation. Don't worry about the tank. Do everything you can in advance. Get somebody who knows what they're doing to look at it. Hey, you Rich. Should be good. Real oh, quick. There's another one. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Talk to your local store or a maintenance person if, if it's not a maintenance person coming and have them on deck if there's an emergency. Okay. Right? So, uh, you know, great to have the – if Ben lived near me, Ben would be checking my tanks if he was in town while I was gone, and Ben would be set up to deal with anything horrible that happened in my tank. So but like the you, tank sitter is just kind of overwatch. And then if really the big dogs need to come in, then you, you they at least know that that's a possibility. Yeah. And, and it's good to talk to a store because they have a ton of water and they have everything and go, you know, just I'll pay for whatever they need. If they need it, you know, if I'm, if I'm unreachable, someone's got to be able to fix it. Yeah. What were you going to no, say? Sorry what I was going to say earlier, no, when you were talking about cameras, you have a very specific camera. And I was thinking we maybe should link to that in the show notes because your camera can pan around and zoom in. Yeah, my camera, they don't make anymore. So ah. I don't know what the new version is, but I've got a pan tilt zoom camera. Uh, yeah. And that's the one that's in my crawl space. Yeah. And so I can remotely you know, make sure the calcium react is working, make sure that the top off is full, you know, and, and, and it can zoom in and look at different things. Well, yeah. That's a cool thing that you showed me is because you know, all the, like the, the, like touch points, like, like go look at your calcium reactor. No. Okay. I don't see that. And go look at your water level. And you, you know, and meanwhile, your tank sitter is like, Oh, let me know if something looks weird, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, th those are the things that make me calm the hell down when I'm gone. Yep. So it's all. So there, there you go. This was content provided to you by Snowman, who said, hey, holidays are coming up. Talk about yes, this. Snowman, Beefer, Snowman's got your back. He's looking yeah, up. He's looking out.